What's going on there guys, my name is Matt, or Chewy as most of you will know me as, and in this month's Thrustmaster sponsored video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Thrustmaster TCA Throttle Quadrant, specifically having a look at how to correctly keybind reverse thrust in Microsoft Flight Simulator, X-Plane 11, and prepared version 5, so I'm going to run through all the sims and give examples for you. Today we find ourselves in the uh, MSFS default uh, uh, 787, Boeing 787-8 or 9, I can't remember which one it is to be totally honest with you, it might even be the dash 10. Um, and essentially what we've got to do is we've got to do a little bit of configuring here because if we go and have a look at the throttle quadrant and you can have a look, keep an eye on the uh, engine display here on this kind of ICAS MFD, whatever you want to call it. So if I move the throttle forward, you can see that we've got thrust as normal. If I pull the reverse toggle lever up on engine number one, we go into reverse mode and you can see it should read reverse at the top here. But you can see that we've got the reverse thrust engaged and now if we pull it back to idle and then move forward, we go back to normal thrust again. Okay, so I've got number one engine bound correctly. However, engine number two is not bound correctly. And engine number two is actually the default key binding within Microsoft Flight Simulator. So we're going to need to change this to get it to work. So let's go into the menu. We go into control options. And then I'll just show you an example of what engine number one is set up on. So if I select search by input and then pull the toggle lever on engine number one up, you can see that I've bound it. It comes in at key number five as toggle throttle reverse thrust. Okay, so that's what that one is bound at. Let's exit out of that binding. Now let's go to the default key binding. This will be the key binding that comes in when you plug in the TCA Boeing yoke for the uh, Boeing quadrant even for the first time in Microsoft Flight Simulator. If I uh, press it forward, hopefully it will work for me. Sometimes it doesn't want to pick it up for some reason and I don't know why. Let me get that sorted and I'll come back. Right, there we go. For some reason, you actually have to search for it, the key binding sometimes, and then it will let you put it in. So you can see here we've got toggle lever number two in the raised position. So I've clicked it upwards on the throttle quadrant and it's button number six. It counts as a button, not as an axis, remember. And you can see that it's default bound to throttle to decrease. That is not what we want it to be. We want it to be on that toggle reverse thrust as I showed you earlier on. So what we'll do, uh, we actually have to deselect it first and then click on it and we'll clear the current input and validate that. And then we'll get rid of these. And then knowing me, if I search for this again, it won't uh, like it. Here we go. So we've got the toggle reverse thrust. Hopefully I can put in a secondary key binding here. Click start scanning. And there we go. Pulled it forward again and it's selected number six. And we'll hit... Uh, Validate on that, apply and save, and then we'll go back into the aircraft again and let's see if it works. So I've got engine number one and two, can move them forward and backwards normally as fine. Put them into idle and then pull those toggles up. And there we go. You can now see that we've got reversers engaged up here on the MFD, on the ICAST display. And you can see that these smaller levers are moving forward and backwards as well if you then want to go back into normal thrust mode you just pull your main throttle levers all the way back to idle push the toggles forward on the uh, throttle quadrant and then it should sometimes it doesn't quite hook in there we go now i can move my main throttle levers backwards and forwards and we're back to proper thrust again if like you saw for whatever reason you pull these all the way back with the toggle levers up and it doesn't quite catch in just toggle them again and then you should be able to move them back and forwards okay so one last reminder on that one when you plug in your thrustmaster tca throttle quadrant in microsoft flight simulator do not leave it at the default key bindings for the reverse thrust you're going to need to change it to that toggle reversed thrust mode let's switch into x-plane 11 and i'll show you how to do it in that simulator Okay, second simulator, and now we are in X-Plane 11 in the Boeing 737. Still uh, the same throttle quadrant layout, really, with two throttles in this aircraft. And as you can see, I've got the bindings. So engine number one on engine number one and two on two. And if I pull the toggles up, you should... Let me just move the camera angle so you can see actually see the throttle levers. There we go. And you can see all of that moving and then toggle them. 
and then we can move them backwards and forwards again. That's just a takeoff warning because I was trying to apply too much thrust without any flat there. Okay, so that's how we've got that, uh, as you can see, all working correctly. The way that it is bound for the key bindings is really, really simple in X-Plane 11, although there is a little bit of a caveat with it. Okay, so we've got the throttles just bound as normal as you would do when you first do the calibration when you plug in the throttle quadrant so that's super simple so axis number four it's reading as throttle number one and then axis number three it's reading as throttle number two for me and then all we need to do is assign those buttons kind of like we did in microsoft flight simulator so if i pull the toggle lever upwards you can see that i have it's registered as button number four even though it says number five next to it, don't ask me why, as toggle thrust reverses number one. So the most important thing that you need to do here is you need to ensure that you get the correct number. There's no point toggling thrust reverser for engine number four whilst you're pulling up the thrust reverser lever on number one engine, if that makes sense. And so it's as simple as that. All you then need to do is you need to go through each of the, uh, the engine thrust levers, whether you've got the two thrust lever set up like I do, or uh, sorry, or four like I do, or just the two as normal, and assign toggle thrust reverser to each one. So we'll just leave that on number one, and then number two over here, toggle thrust reverses number two on that one. And if I was to go over to my TCA quadrant three and four, you can see I've got, uh, actually, I've not even got these bound at the moment, so I could even do that now if I wanted to. Um, but you can see these are completely clean. So this is what it will look like if you don't calibrate it. I've just not set it up yet on my new install of X-Plane. And then you can go into here. So we could put, um, for example, throttle three into there. Oh, I put it in the wrong one. See, this is why you check these things. Throttle three into there. And it will give you a warning in the bottom right hand corner if you don't get it correct. Throttle four into that one, like so. And uh, we would double check that, but we're in a 737. So we've only got two engines, so we can't do that. Okay, so super duper duper simple to do in X-Plane 11. The only caveat that I've got with this is that once you click these thrust uh, reversers up and then move them forward, you can see that we've definitely engaged reverse thrust here on the upper ICAST display, and you can see the levers moving. I find that if I then move the levers back down it stays in reverse thrust mode and the only way that i can get them back out of again is to click them back up and then back down again which is a little bit unrealistic now there may be a way to fix that if you know please let me uh, know in the comment section below because i've got no idea so that's what i have to do so i engage reverse thrust blah 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 slow the aircraft down and then i have to toggle and toggle again a second time to bring them back into normal um, thrust mode. I don't know if there's a way that you can get around that in X-Plane 11. Um, if there is, let me know in the comment section. However, that's the quick work away around it. Super duper easy to key bind. Unfortunately, we're moving into the last simulator now, which is prepared, and it's not very easy to key bind. You're going to need some external software. So join me in prepared for that, and I'll try and make it as easy as possible for you all to understand. Okay, here we are, and the third and final simulator that I'm going to show you a tutorial of on how to set up your TCA Boeing um, throttle quadrant with. And we're in the PMDG 737. So once again, quick example, engine number one moves forward fine, engine number two moves forward fine. And if I toggle reverse thrust, you can see we go into reverse thrust. Now, those of you who are eagle-eyed will have noticed something. We've gone to full reverse thrust here. And I've not moved my throttle quadrant levers forward whatsoever. This is what can only be described as a faff within prepared. There is no actual way that I know of of doing a default key binding to ensure that you can select reverse thrust properly in, uh, in prepared. The only way that I know how to do it, there are two separate ways that you can do this. One that is more of a faff than the other. The secondary method, which is more of a faff, I'm not going to show in this video for the only reason that I've actually not got it working at the moment. I did on my last PC, but I'm on my new PC and I can't get it working right now. So I'm just going to show you the easy method. And for that, we need a software called FSUIPC. You can download it for free. Just Google it, FSUIPC. And to access it, you need to go into the add-ons tab at the top of the uh, display and then hit FSUIPC. From here, 
we need to switch to the buttons and switches tab. And you can see we've got lots of things here. Don't worry if it looks confusing. So all I'm going to do on my uh, TCA throttle quadrant now is push up the throttle number one lever uh, for reverse thrust. And you can see it selected it as joystick number three, button number four. And this is what you want to want to send it through. There are a lot of different options in here and lots of different things that you can set it to. The way that you want to set it up is to have throttle one decrease in this top right hand box. Set the parameter to zero. Then really important to do this, you need to tick control to repeat while held. And what that will essentially do is it'll mean that it'll stay in reverse thrust mode even after you stopped, uh, even after the first time that you've pressed it. Then control sent when button released is throttle one cut. And that's exactly what it says on the tin really is it's as we move the throttle, uh, the thrust reverser lever down, it will move it back into a state of just being cut, which is the idle position. Okay, so we can just hit clear at the top here. Um, oh, and I've completely got rid of it. So what we could do is we could go and try and have a look for another one. So let's do this one. And you can see throttle to decrease, control to repeat while held and throttle to cut. All right, so that's how you do it. And you can just do it on as many of these as you want. I now myself, because I've accidentally hit clear on that like an idiot, I need to go and actually bind these again. So we can go and pop all of that in. So that's how you do that on there, okay? It's really, really simple. The other thing that I really need to point out here is actually because I need to do it myself now, you're going to want to make sure that you tick this box in the top right-hand corner. So if, like me, you, um, you press the button, okay, and you see these boxes on the right-hand side grayed out, okay, what you're going to want to do is select the FS control, and then I think it was throttle one uh, cut, right, wasn't it? So let's go and find it down in this menu here. I mean, I'm sure probably I could just um, find it. Throttle one, here we go. Uh, throttle one cut, oh no, it's throttle one decrease, isn't it? Tell you what, let's go and search. If you don't get confused, just take your time, don't rush it. It's throttle one decrease. There we go. This is why I should double check these things. So select for FS control, throttle one decrease. Let's go and find T in the alphabet again. Throttle one decrease, parameter zero, control to repeat while held. And then we'll go and find that throttle one cut this time. Scrolling down here, throttle one uh where is it? Cut. There we go. Parameter zero and hit OK on that. And that should now work. So let's pull these up. Make sure that they go into reverse thrust mode. Now, the only factor with this is that it's going to go full reverse. So you've not really got the option to select the amount of reverse that you would want like you do in Microsoft Flight Simulator and X-Plane 11. And there we go. If I push them forward, that works perfectly now, as you can see. So, I made a point earlier on saying that there is a second method on how to do this. There is. I'm going to leave a, uh, a link down in the description for you guys below. I'm going to bring the website up for you now so you can see it. This is the AvSim Forums. There is a .lua plugin for FSUIPC called Throttle Manager. And what this Throttle Manager Lua plugin will do for FSUIPC is essentially enable the throttle quadrants to act exactly as they do in Microsoft Flight Simulator and X-Plane 11 when you select reverse thrust. And by that I mean as I pull the throttle, the uh, thrust reverser up and then move the main lever forward, you can go from idle reverse to partial reverse to full reverse, blah, 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 blah. Okay. At the moment, just by the method that I've shown you and by the default P3D bindings, you cannot do that. The only way that I have found to be able to do this is via this throttle manager.lua. It's a little bit of a faff to set up. As I say, for some reason right now on my new PC setup that I just got a few weeks ago, I can't seem to get it installed correctly myself. So I apologize for that. I've been trying really hard for this video. However, I'll leave the link down in the description below. You guys can go and have a look at it yourself and see if you can get it working. There's a full readme as you can see here so that you can work out how to set it up yourself. And uh, maybe for the next video, I'll try and see if I can do a tutorial on how to correctly install it as long as I get mine working. Okay, so there are two different ways that you can do it. The anti-faff method with the free version of FSUIPC that I just showed. The downside to that 
is that you will only get full reverse thrust. And the other option being that uh, throttle manager dot lure for FSU IPC. So FSU IPC is a key component regardless of which way that you do this. Um, but it is a little bit more of a faff to set up. All right, so there we go. Three different simulators, three different ways to set up reverse thrust with the TCA Boeing Throttle Quadrant from Thrustmaster. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much. If you did uh, leave, um, if you did want to leave any comments about the video, whether you like this kind of more informal live commentary over my tutorials, or whether you'd rather I write a script um, and stick to that, let me know. I really hope you enjoyed it, as I say, folks, and I'll see you in next month's Thrustmaster sponsored video. Have a great rest of your weekend.